We entered the weekend with 16 undefeated teams left in college football. We're now down to 15. Georgia is not one of them. Baylor is. Maybe they shouldn't be, but Baylor is. Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. I just took in the double overtime game. Baylor and Texas Tech. The Red Raiders playing much better football in recent weeks after that demolition at Oklahoma, 55-16, to in which they look like one of the worst teams in the Big 12. But maybe Oklahoma's just that good. Now, Texas Tech playing much better in recent weeks. Beat Oklahoma State last week. Played a very good game against Baylor. But the Bears survive in overtime, double overtime, 33-30 to stay undefeated at 6-0. and Texas Tech scored the game-leading touchdown, 20-17. to Roderick Thompson with the touchdown. He finished uh, Sir Roderick Thompson with 153 yards on 28 carries in this one. Scored with a buck 40 left in the game. A Texas Tech led 20 to 17. But Charlie Brewer, who's hung with this program through 1 and 11, 6 and 7, now 6 and 0, 34 for 47 in this one, 352 yards passing and a clutch drive down the field against the Red Raiders and a field goal with two seconds left in the game to tie the score at 20 and send us to overtime. Second play of overtime, first possession, Baylor with the football, key officials decision here that proves to be the wrong decision. They ruled illegal snap. Therefore, we had to replay second down and a five-yard penalty. They ruled illegal snap, but based on the way the ball left the center's hand and was advanced, it should have been a fumble. According and verified by the Fox uh, official analyst working the game, it should not have been ruled an illegal snap. It should have been Texas Tech football as they recovered the fumble. Now, obviously, that would have not had necessarily guaranteed the game but the Red Raiders would have had the football in a tie game and in that situation the team with the ball in the second possession having stopped the first team from scoring wins that game about 80 percent of the time at least so a huge call missed call by the officials of the Big 12 right there in ruling a legal snap it gave Baylor a second chance at second and 17 next play Charlie Brewer with a huge play to Denzel Mims, who took it all the way down to the two-yard line. Huge play by Baylor right there. And then uh, they go into score. And so they've got a lead in this one. Okay, Jet Duffy comes back. Third and 10 scramble. He makes it fourth and two. Sir Roderick uh, Thompson with barely making the first down on a fourth and two play that they needed in this one. Chris Miller, senior defensive back, second leading tackler for Baylor, both last season and this season. Key component there in their defense. Hurt on the collision with the quarterback, Duffy. Had to leave the ball game. He's leaving the game, and he's telling all of his, his teammates, one stop, one stop. We win, one stop, but they couldn't get it done. Uh, on the next play, Jameson of Houston uh, had the pass interference on T.J. Vasher in the corner of the end zone, so that set up a first and goal for Texas Tech. T.J. Vasher in the next play, another controversial call here. Made a tremendous leap for the football, pulled it in with one hand, secured it with two, two conditions on the play here. Was he inbounds, number one? Number two, did he have security of the football? Was he holding the football? It was very tenuous, but they ruled it a touchdown on the field after the officials had to get together. There was none of the three officials that ruled it initially a touchdown. They just huddled together, and there was no ruling on the play. They got together. They ruled a touchdown. I believe it was the right call, but it was very close, and the review uh, substantiated the touchdown. And it was odd that there was no, no ruling on the field, that there was no announcement on the field it was announced in the broadcast booth on the television feed, but not on the field that Vasher secured the ball. So it was neither confirmed or nor a rule that there was not sufficient evidence to overturn the call on the field. So Vasher, with a one-handed catch for the touchdown, ties the game at 27. All right, we go to the second overtime. And, of course, Texas Tech just had the ball, so they get the ball back as a first possession team in the second overtime. The massive Baylor defensive tackle, Bravian Roy, just blew up the first play. Throws back uh, Roderick Thompson for a four-yard loss. It's third and 14. 
Thompson gets back 12 to 13 of the yard. So decision time for Matt Wells on the fourth and one and a half play. He opted for the field goal. Do you go for it there? It's a tie game. You've got the first possession in overtime. You don't know what you need to do. You don't know what the next team, Baylor, is going to do offensively. He went the conservative route. They kicked the field goal to lead 30-27. to 27. He's got a very reliable field goal kicker in Trey Wolf, who has hit now 10 of 11 field goals. So Texas Tech takes the lead at 30-27. to 27. Baylor comes back. Two big plays on the drive. James Hasty across the middle to Michael Hasty, I should say, across the middle as the back out of the backfield. Uh, tremendous moves in the open field. Took it all the way down to the two-yard line. Why not give it to the hot hand? Jamichael Hasty with the touchdown run. Baylor wins over Texas Tech. Thriller in Waco, 33-30. Bears now 6-0. Red Raiders fall to 3-3. Baylor's got an interesting game coming up next week at Oklahoma State. Texas Tech trying to become bowl eligible. Uh, that seems to be their goal at this point. Uh, they've dropped a couple close ones, but uh, uh, playing much better under Matt Wells, who's doing a tremendous job. I would expect him to do an excellent job as he did at Utah State in Lubbock with the Red Raiders, who fall to 3-3. They've got a date coming up with uh, Iowa State in Lubbock. Baylor. 6-0, and your thoughts about the Bears. The non-conference schedule was abysmal, deplorable, embarrassing, awful for Baylor. But they're starting to play a few opponents with a pulse. They had a big win against Iowa State a couple weeks ago. Baylor 6-0, and your thoughts about the Bears? Your thoughts also about Texas Tech and the Big 12? Right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. Please like, comment, share the videos, and subscribe.